Factoring by grouping. The main thing we want to see here is to always see if there's four terms. That's one key thing that you always want to remember, so I would write that down. Put four terms. There always has to be four terms. Now once we look at that, we want to group two of the terms together. So we can go ahead and just put parentheses inside of it. And then we'll put parentheses right here. So we'll put these in parentheses and we'll put these in parentheses. Then what you do is you go ahead and take out the greatest common factor for each of the binomials. Now we'll call them binomials because we're putting them in parentheses now. Greatest common factor here would be 3x because we can take a 3 out of 6 and 9 and then we can take an x out of the variables. Remember, it's always the variable with the smallest exponent that will be the greatest common factor. What's left over in the parentheses? Well, 3x times what will give you 6x squared? That would be 2x. And then, 3x times what will give you 9x? Well, that would just be 3. And we go ahead and we keep that sign right here. Now, that will be plus because there's a plus here. And what can we factor out from 4x minus 6? What's the greatest common factor? Well, they don't have a variable here, so we know that there's no variable we can factor out. But let's look at the numbers. Well, 2 goes into 4 and 6, so we'd go ahead and take out a 2. And 2 times what will give me 4x? That would be 2x. And then 2 times what gives me a 6? Well, that would be a 3. And remember, we still keep this sign and we put it right here. Now, let's look at something. 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3, they're the same. So we can actually just write that out as one term. So let's go ahead and write that as just 2x minus 3. And it's not 2x minus 3 squared. It's just 2x minus 3 as one term. And then we'll go ahead and we'll look at these numbers. We'll look at 3x and we'll look at a plus 2. And we'll write that, 3x plus 2. And there we go. Now we went ahead and factored by grouping. Now, why did we only write this one time? Well, because we would distribute the 2 to 2x and minus 3, and we would distribute the 3x to 2x and minus 3. But when we do it this way, by doing FOIL, we're using the same steps. We're just cleaning it up.